Yo guys, what is going on? It is Janice Spiteri, your friendly neighborhood snowboarder, and I am still here in beautiful Switzerland. I am at a snowboard training camp in Sosfi, but today we have an off day. So I figured that I would finally go skate this park here in Sosfi, which I'm very excited to do because the last time I was here was like six years ago, and I don't even know if I brought a skateboard on that trip. It was snowing and I snowboarded in the skate park. So yeah, we're gonna go skate, but first I need to set up my new Ricky Glosser Braille Pro deck. And I've got some fresh Crux trucks to throw on it. So yeah, I'm gonna tear things up and get going. One, two, three, four. Chasing dreams and 17. Say goodbye to everything in my room. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do here is modify this grip tape a little bit. When this grip tape came out, a lot of people noticed that the screw holes on the fake trucks didn't line up with the actual screw holes that you end up using. So I am just going to take this little knife here and I'm gonna cut out the word skate because then I can bring the two sides closer together and you know, we'll see if this works. I like Ricky Glauser. How am I gonna figure out how to make this like exactly work? Put it through here. Pushing it through. <laughs> oh my God, this grip tape is strong. Oh, there we go. This is very nerve wracking because it needs to be in this exact spot based off of this one hole. I don't trust myself, I need to make a second hole. I am a terrible perfectionist and this type of thing will drive me crazy if it is not right. This is actually really hard to do. Ah! There's gotta be a better way to do this and I'm just not thinking about it. Mm. Ow! Oh my God. I stabbed myself, but I got it. It's looking lined up. Oh my gosh. Oh, the price I pay for perfection. Oh my God. That was a lot of work for just half of the grip tape. No! Oh yeah, perfect. This part, not so perfect. <laughs> and this is not straight. That is gonna drive me crazy. Oh my God, why am I so unnecessary? I'm trying to use a new strategy this time. Table's gonna hold these screws on. This gap in the middle is so crooked. Oh my God, that worked so much better. Wow. Tell me in the comments if this is way too much effort for setting up a new board. Boom. Like, this is definitely the worst way anyone has ever set a board up. Oh, this is such a mess. We've got the paper under the grip trapped. Can almost go skate. I wanted to just try to like make a checkerboard. So I'm gonna chop this in squares. See what happens. Oh no, it's ugly. Guys, my checkerboard is not happening. Oh no. There's a lot going on with this grip. I feel like I am three years older by the time I finish this, but the important thing is, is that it's done. And it was probably a huge unnecessary waste of time, but at least the grip tape is on now. We can move on to the next step. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. This grip tape is rough. Now to the part that I am not good at. Oh no. All right, we're a little bit raggedy so far, but oh no, it's so bad. Oh my God, you guys, I have butchered this nose. I have a really hard time with like the tips. What is wrong with me? I swear, this is an embarrassing grip job. Oh my God. No, no, no. Look at this tail. <sighs> Look at this. This is so bad. Oh my God. And then the nose. What am I doing? I am really not good at cutting my grip. This is absolute garbage. Ricky, when you see this, I'm sorry. This is embarrassing. I'm sorry to decimate <laughs> your board. 
But to my credit, I probably only set up one board a year. And that might be like only the second time I have ever had to do my own grip tape cutting. I always have a more skilled friend do it. Just don't rip me apart online for being terrible at it because no one's good at everything the first time they do it. I'm just doing my best out here, guys, you know? What more can you ask for? <laughs> All right, we're making moves, guys. Eventually. All right, it took five years to do, but we are finally set up and ready to go skate. So I'm just gonna grab my backpack and some stuff and head out to the skate park. All right, so we are walking through the town of Sospe right now, and you can see that it is a very quiet little town. They actually don't allow cars in this town, which is super interesting. The only vehicles you'll see are like electric vehicles. They have these little golf carts that you can kind of hire as taxis around the town. Oh, look, there's one of the golf carts now. So yeah, super cute here. And the town itself is one mile from front to back, and then there's streets that kind of like wind up to hills, but it's all super walkable and cute. All right, let's go. There's the skate park. I don't remember it much because it was so long ago that I was here, but everyone that I've been like, yo, let's go skate. They're like, well, the skate park in town is so bad. Let's see how it is. I'm pretty sure everything is metal. Let's see what's going on. All right. Oh, not too bad of a skate park for a little town. Got some little DIY stuff going on here. A little bit wet. I did it rain last night? I'm not sure. Oh man, I really wanted to skate this ramp, but you can see it is wet and skating wet metal may be a little bit sketchy. You have to remember that I'm here for training and I can't get myself broke off. <laughs> The altitude, you guys, is high. Oh my God, I've skated for like two seconds. I'm already out of breath. Woo. I really want to skate this, but it is like super wet. Darn it. All this wet metal is sketching me out, man. Or maybe this pump track's not too wet. This could be okay. I just have to kind of watch out for where it's like lifted and separated. <laughs> something I enjoy doing here and I think I popped a blood vessel in my hand oh my god it hurts so bad to touch my board kind of hard to see on camera but it is like swollen right there in dark purple so maybe no more on that I really like those backside 180s that's like my new trick I just learned before coming here and so fun always takes me a couple to get used to the feeling and then like once I get it I got it oh look while we're over here this rooftop last time I was here when it was snowy, I dropped from this roof into this mini ramp. Last thing I need to do before I leave here is bust out my favorite trick, my go-to, the old bird slide. I'm gonna try it on this little quarter right here that has a spine and see if I can like grind over the top of the spine while I do it. That would be sick. Back to half 
pipe training tomorrow, so I need to make sure I don't beat myself up too much. Good time getting a little skated and didn't do a whole lot, but that was nice to be back on the board. I've really been enjoying skateboarding lately. I just feel like I've been learning so much new stuff and really just like enjoying the progression and like enjoying taking something from being a beginner and just like getting those intermediate steps again. Um, it's really nice to be in that stage. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. I love skating and hopefully I'll get to skate some more out here. I'll be heading to Munich after this camp for a few days, so maybe I'll check out some good parks in Munich. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope you like my new board. It's actually grown on me. I think it's pretty sick now. Now that I've skated it, I'm like, all right. I can vibe with this group. That's it. Make sure you are subscribed and all that. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Life can be real tough, so you've got to carpe happy. That means seizing your happy. Whatever it is that puts a smile on your face and a dance in your heart, you grab onto it, savor it, and enjoy it. We only get one life, so seize onto every happy moment you can.